So what we're going to be doing is we're looking at making a hand within hexagon and we're going to be following a certain course to do this. So first of all what we're going to be following is just getting the actual landmarks visible for us to see why we're we'll building it in a certain way with the topology. So if you can see here we're going to be looking at the tendons that are going straight across the actual hand in towards the knuckles. So we're going to take these into account and also we're going to be planning a little bit of topology here so we're going to be creating it from a box and we're going to create a box just around this front part of the hand the next part is going to cover the thumb area and then finally the next big part will become in the wrist everything will be extruded from this the next thing that we'll be doing is actually splitting it straight for the center and then this will then be used to actually create a slight arc for the rest of the fingers so the arc, if you were to look from the front of the hand, would look something like this. Then we're going to be going to actually extrude one more time from the whole front of the base and then individually we're going to be extruding out from this. Obviously we're going to need to have four particular areas in which we can pull four, four fingers out of. and what I'll primarily normally do is I'll be working with just one finger and then duplicate that finger to the next and the next and so on. I normally work with the longest finger first in this particular case it's this finger and then I'll just make a copy of this afterwards. These are kind of like the areas in which I create extra geometry. Overall, this is the actual topology we're going to be using. So from the 3D Primitives tab, so we're going to select the cube and just draw it out on the screen. Click twice on the screen, we don't need to do anything with it, and just move the cube over to the front part of the hand making sure the transparency turned on we're then going to go and tweak the vertices at the moment I've got the lasso mode selected which is here we're just going to scale it so it fits the front part of this hand I'm going to change it to the rectangular selection mode a little bit easier sometimes for this kind of thing and note that I'm actually matching it up that it's going to only cover the front part of the hand and the next extrusion will be to cover just the thumb area and there's a good reason for this as you'll see also you can see that the hands a bit too thick at the moment so we just need to scale this down just a little bit more to suit what we're going to be making Let's just slip this back face, or we can, from the top view, right click or rectangular drag around that. And with the control key, we're going to do a fast extrude. Notice that we're going to extrude to cover that area of the thumb only. This is pretty crucial for later on. Last but not least, we just pull one more extrusion out for the wrist area. One thing you'll notice me doing is, is I will be going back to the vertices and tweaking them. It's very important that if you want a good model that you tweak them. Now we're going to go by the tessellate by slice as we've selected here and I'm going to hold the shift key so the actual area turns red and then we're going to just click in the center. So it's split right the way through the middle. Next I'm going to select an edge and I'm going to press L for loop. Then we're going to go up in perspective view where we can actually make some modifications. Now note what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be creating a natural arc. So what you can see here is the natural curve in the human hand and this is exactly what we're making this curve for. Actually work with the fingers um, in the correct direction as we go around and it will look more real and more authentic. 
So I'm just kind of going around the whole model, making sure the wrist area is looking okay and the finger area is more thinner. Select these verts. I'm going to change it from selection to from well to selection mode, or vice versa. Sometimes we may need to select another one depending on which way the handles are facing. In this particular case, the weld mode is giving us a better visual look from on top, and this is the axis of the handles. Tessellate by slice, and we're going to do the same thing. Shift and click to split right down the center of the edge that we're currently clicking on and then validate. Next we're going to just um, go into perspective view here and we're just going to take note of the picture at the top right how the arc is and by selecting the two um, the, uh, edges at the front we're able to create that arc in a more nice rhythmic fashion. So just looking around the whole thing, making sure that I'm liking what I'm seeing, and then we can continue. Next I'm going to select all the front of the polygons and extrude them out. And then from this, we can just work on getting the actual vertices in the right places. So we're just going to pull them out. Now the vertices in the middle, I'm going to kind of locate them so they're in, in between each finger let's just clear this up a little bit here as well. So these are the vertices that I'm going to try and place in between the two fingers. And this one looks to be okay. We'll just pull this forward slightly here. Once we're happy with it we need to check thoroughly because we don't want to go to the next stage. We can go ahead and move to the stage where we actually start to extrude. 